what am I supposed to do? Well, it's you. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Interesting. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. <laughs> yeah, well, she takes credit for my work, so... I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Can you explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours asking me to afternoon tea? What did I tell you about making friends with muggle-borns? I am highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this woman again, I will see to it myself that you don't. What a soothing place to get yelled at. Is that why you came here? Or was it to be alone and then I ruined it? Ah, bells must be upstairs. Ah, why? <laughs> why is everyone up here? Alohomora. Rebellion. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. One out, one to go. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps.
Oh shoot, where did I leave? Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this, even if Black isn't. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. It would be far more enjoyable as a pretext for attacking the centaurs. Speak to Mr. Lockwood. I think he may have a place. Imelda. I thought someone as young as me could save my uncle's life. <sighs> You're doing uncle it again. sent his best. He often asks after you and his owls. Yeah, because I'm the one that saved him. You didn't do anything. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Of course I appreciate everything I do. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. 